What's up everyone? Today I'm going to walk over and show you New York City's newest attraction and public park, Gansevoort Peninsula. It just opened today, Monday, October 2nd, 2023. Time right now is 7 o'clock p.m. Temperature 71 Fahrenheit, 22 Celsius. I'm here on 14th Street, going to walk to the Hudson River. There's the High Line. So the Gansevoort Peninsula is right next to Little Island. That's a public park that I covered during the opening two years ago. But this new public park has Manhattan's only public beach. And even though it's a public beach, you still can't swim in the Hudson River. It's way too unclean for that. It's supposed to be a sun tanning beach only. And this park is five and a half acres. The closest subway station is the 14th Street and 8th Avenue subway, served by the ACE and L trains. Gansevoort Peninsula used to be a Department of Sanitation facility, but they completely removed that and turned it into a public park. It also housed Manhattan's only remaining section of 13th Avenue, which was almost completely demolished to make room for the Chelsea Piers. They actually had to remove a part of Manhattan to accommodate all these boats that were coming in. That's how fast Manhattan expanded. But now, the only remaining section of 13th Avenue, I think that um, section is going to be incorporated in the public park somehow. And we're gonna to have to see it. One of my biggest complaints is the access to the park here. You have to cut across 11th Avenue and this street over here, which makes it very dangerous. Make sure you wait for the light here. I wonder if all these people are waiting to see the new park as well. I was actually hoping that they would rename the park to something other than the Gansevoort Peninsula because that's what it was always known as. The park was developed with a combination of city and state and private involvement. And I believe it's going to be uh, run by the Hudson River Trust Company. The same management that oversees Little Island, which is in front of me.
Let's see if the city has changed the timing on this light at all. And it did not. They really should give people more time to cross the street. They didn't like reserve. Oh, 1 a.m. It's like it's it's like evolved on the time. And this is another chaotic place right here. You have the bike lane here, the Hudson River Greenway, which cyclists are supposed to stop for people, but not all the times they do. I really love this park here, Little Island, ever since it opened. They use a very unique design of tulips to support the weight of the island. And there's even and there's even uh, musical instruments on the island that you could play. Now this was a last minute decision for me to come down here. I was just looking on the news and they were saying how this park just opened today. The news report came a few hours ago and I was like, I have to cover this now. Now this structure over here, many people don't know, is actually a remnant of the Cunard and White Star Lines. This was the former pier, which was supposed to greet the Titanic as it sailed across the Atlantic Ocean, but as history would have it, the Titanic never arrived. But yeah, the pier was all over here, where the current little island is now. We've got Jersey City across the Hudson River. Well, that might be Hoboken. I might be looking at both. But right here, this is Gansevoort Peninsula, where people are turning right on. Got the World Trade Center in front of me. This park is also located across from the Whitney Museum. But I will have to warn you, use that crosswalk at 14th Street because I tried to get to Little Island from the Whitney and there was no way for me to cross. Okay, here we are. That's what it should look like. The largest standalone recreational space in the Hudson River. Unfortunately, it looks like it's not 100% finished yet. There's still some construction here. But I guess something is better than nothing. They can still work on whatever they need to while this section is open. There's Little Island.
I've also heard there's a big oyster project here. I heard that they've put oysters completely around the peninsula to filter the waterway and make it better. And I can kind of see it now. They have all these little grasses here mimicking their natural environment. Hopefully one day the Hudson River will be clean enough to swim. Looks like there's a dog run coming soon. That would be nice. I guess over here, this is where you would uh, sit down. I'm not sure if the waves will get this high. Hard to believe this used to be a sanitation facility. I think um, the city used to dump their garbage here to transfer onto boats to ship them elsewhere. But all those operations have been moved around now. Okay, so looks like they have some uh, sports equipment here. Nothing too much, but you do have sort of a jungle gym. Got some stuff for some upper body strength as well, the legs, abs. I think will be pretty good. And I believe over here, this is going to remain a fire department facility. There's still something open to my left here. It looks like a baseball field. I think I'll uh, walk around the perimeter first. So where I'm standing right now is the former 13th Avenue that used to run on this part of Manhattan before it was torn down. Last remaining portion of it. It's an absolutely beautiful view from this park. Love the views of New Jersey. Looks like there's a pathway here to go into the baseball field.
Oh wait, this isn't a baseball field. It's a soccer field. Got some nice uh, AstroTurf here. walk back and check out the rest of this park. Nice little picnic area. There's also a small rolling hill over there. And what is this over here? Beautiful view of One World Trade Center and the Financial District in front of me. Battery Park City as well. You can even see the Statue of Liberty from here. And this is the beach, folks. Manhattan's only public beach. Wow, you can walk right down here. Dangerous Poligro. Don't want to mess with that. I'm going to turn my light on because I'm kind of curious what this looks like and uh, I want to show it. All right, cool. So I guess you can get your feet wet here, but I would not go swimming in this water. But definitely very cool. Hard to believe there's sand here in Manhattan that you can walk on, complete with chairs too. The sand feels very soft. I just hope that this park is well maintained and continues to be because there's been a lot of public projects in New York that have been neglected or not taken care of. Okay, this is a real grass lawn where I am. beach extends down here. You get a really nice view of uh, lower Manhattan from here as you look at the water. Got 
Got some water fountains. Are these working? Not yet, it seems. Hopefully they will work. Or maybe they shut it off for the season. Let's see what's at the front of this park now. Good amount of benches. bunch of rocks here and also use these to sit on. I guess this is the, uh, the area where you go get the restroom. Let's see if these water fountains are working. And there's also um, information about the development of this park. I'm only gonna try one. Nope, not working. So as you can see, the natural formation of the Hudson River didn't include the Ganswort Peninsula. And this is what it used to look like, all commercial. West Side Highway used to be here and that was completely erased. Oh, there's a few bike lock parkings or bike parking areas. I really hope they can open up this area though. Some more history about the neighborhood. Yeah, this entire area to my left is still a construction site. Who knows when that's going to open. I really like that park. It really feels large. There's a lot of outdoor space there. Very basic um, athletic equipment though. I wish that could be expanded on.
I think the dog run is going to be um, taking a long time to open up. Before I sign all of you off, I wanted to connect with my friend there, C. Fott from the New York City Walking Show, and ask him what he thought of the park. It's right there doing a live stream right now. Hey. What's up? What do you think you, of Gansevoort Peninsula? It's amazing, man. I was very excited. Like, uh, I was excited since the day I knew that they will make something like that. Mm -hmm. It's seventy-three million dollar project, and wow! Such yeah, a they place. completely transformed yeah, it. Yeah, different place. And do you know that this is a part of Tartin Avenue? Yeah, I How did. How crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, and also. I wish Titanic could make to New York, uh, mm -hmm. but it's such a great experience, man, to walk there. Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. I'm going to end my video. I just wanted to ask you what you thought of the park. Cause... It's absolutely gorgeous. It's yeah. definitely, definitely, I would say, that worth the money because it has a lot of space and stuff like that. So, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish that construction area was open, though, but that's the only thing. It's all right. Maybe in a couple of weeks, they mm -hmm. will done construction. And yeah. I especially love all those fall foliage. They are it's nice. Right now, it's nice. Huge athletic field. Then mm -hmm. you had um, a small gym or something. Yeah. And, and the beach, beach, of course. 1,200 pounds of sand. Tons, wow. Sorry, 12, 1,200 tons of sand they're having there. It's crazy, man. We yeah. Not in the right time filming. Phenomenal. Yep. All right, folks. All right, thank you, folks. I'll see you around. Glad to meet CFOD again. Yep, glad to meet you all the time. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yep.